Hey guys, welcome to Daily Bits. Glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. So it's Monday, well for me, and it's been a shit day. I'm just gonna have to say it. I'm just gonna have to say it's been a shitty day. Um, not mainly just work related. I don't know about you guys, but I, I try to take pride in my work. I'm sure you do too. I'm sure you want to be the guy that is able to fix things. I'm that guy that wants to fix things right. I want to be able to fix things. I want to learn how to fix the things. Uh, I guess I want to be the hero. Um, and sometimes I am. Now, I'm an IT guy. Uh, so, I get to do all the fun IT stuff. But, it sucks because there's times that I'm not able to fix the problem. And sometimes these problems are bigger than me. And, you know, I, I guess it's a pride thing. I don't want to get an L, but sometimes I have to take an L. And in this case, I have to take an L because uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, I, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost on it. Uh, it comes a problem with a database that is well above my pay grade. Uh, that can cost the company a ton of money, a ton of time, and a lot of setbacks. And I wasn't able to fix it. There's no way I could fix it. This is beyond me. And, you know, uh, the people in the office, like, they know that I like to try to fix things the first time. Or my thing is, if I can't fix it, then I'll find a way to get it fixed with somebody else. Ultimately, that's what I have to do. I try not to aggravate other techs. I'm the only tech on site, but we also have remote techs. I don't like to bother them. I really don't. I don't like to. Uh, if there's something I don't know, I'll, I'll reach out to them if I'm not sure of. But I try to limit the times that I interact with these people because I know they have a load on their own. Now, I still have a major load of work, a huge load. Um, but it's going to take me a long time to do. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, on top of that, you seeing people that's either quitting or getting fired, laid off, or resignating. Um, now, that's not just the IT side because there is somebody on our team that he is resignating. His last day is Friday. Uh, I've been working with him for almost two years. Uh, he works at another site uh, somewhere else in Ohio and it's sad to see him go and it's going to put a lot of pressure on uh, the rest of the team because there's just a lot there's a lot to it uh, I don't know how it's going to be fixed um, the morale is pretty low uh, especially in the plant like where I'm at like the morale is really low and there's a lot of people that's either pissed off or just nervous as all hell and it has to do with the budget talks that happened last week but this has been going on for a while but it's getting worse it seems like I don't know what that means for me I don't I don't know if that means hey we're going to get rid of you guys I doubt it I doubt that's going to be the case they may have to drop us down the part time or as needed but I don't see how they're going to be able to do that considering the fact there's over a hundred some computers that need to be set up. It freaks me out. It does freak me out. Um, it really does. Uh, have I been applying places? Yes. I have. I've been applying to a lot of places. Um, uh, I want to be ready just in case. And if the right offer comes, then, you know, and, you know, I'm guaranteed that there's uh, going to be longevity and communication, then I'm all in. I'm all in. I don't want to be in the unemployment line. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to go through that again. I don't. I really don't. Uh, it scares me. It stresses me out. Like, and you guys probably know how it feels. I've been through it before. Uh, there was a time where I couldn't hold a job down. And, you know, I am ashamed of that. 
that was there for a while. I was sick and went through all kinds of hell and I just couldn't hold a job down. And that was between the years, I think it was 2000, 2015 to 2018. I, there was a stint where I had many jobs, many uh, just little jobs that I failed at, I got fired at, and uh, because of either my mental health, my physical health, which was at an all-time low, had terrible heart problems, um, and I was in and out of the hospital for the mental health stuff, and I just couldn't hold a job down. I just couldn't. And, you know, I've been able, I've had jobs, this job, I've, I absolutely love. I've been here for a while. Um, to me, it's been a while. I have no, I had no intentions of ever leaving. Um, but I have to be prepared for what happens. Um, and you guys probably seen us a lot in the tech industry. People are getting laid off left and right. Um, this is true. A lot of people are getting laid off right now, especially in the tech industry. Uh, in the gaming industry, for sure. Uh, which I'm not in the gaming industry, so I don't have to worry about that. But there's a lot of people getting laid off because it's just the way it is, and it's terrible. Uh, I can't really fall back on things like YouTube and stuff like that. I'm not going to. Uh, but I am going to do my best to get myself in a good situation where I'm not nervous where I'm happy and all this stuff. And I do want to kind of lay it out with uh, my management to be like, hey, this is where we stand right now. I want you to know my issues. Um, what I'm thinking, I would like to have, to have confidence that I'm going to have a job uh, at the end of the year. So I feel like that's not going to, I feel like, something bad is going to happen. And, like, I've been nervous. I've made decisions uh, like selling the Pokemon collection because, uh, you know, we needed the money and all that stuff, and it's probably a good time for it. So, alright guys. I'll talk to you soon.